News Channel 5's Ted Hart has a story about a new brand of music, hate music, and it is aimed at your kids. He lives in the peaceful countryside of West Virginia. Dr. William Pierce runs a small record company here. He's also the leader of the fastest growing hate group in America. And the music he sells is considered by many to be music of hate. I am dangerous only to people who are afraid of ideas. Resistance Records is an arm of the National Alliance. Box loads of CDs with titles like Keep It White and Fire Up the Ovens go out in the mail here. The Southern Poverty Law Center tracks hate groups and considers resistance records a frightening phenomenon. I've heard testimonial after testimonial of people who have been in this white supremacist movement and have come out later who've said, believe it or not, the music was the single most important thing uh, to me. Yeah, sure. I, Dr. I, Pierce I, understands that. For many people, the, the music um, has a subliminal message. They are not paying attention to the message, but it is reaching them nevertheless. Ted Almay is superintendent of the Ohio Bureau of Criminal Identification and Investigation. He says Ohio consistently ranks first or second in the country for white supremacy activity, and the recruiting is constant. The Turner Diaries was linked by some to the Oklahoma City bombing. Resistance Records is mail order. Major record stores won't carry the label. Nevertheless, with sales estimated at 100,000 CDs a year, Resistance Records could be a big money maker for the National Alliance. I do think that within the next two or three years, he could be turning a pretty substantial profit and conceivably a profit of over a million dollars a year. That's money that could go into more CDs and more books trying to lead a new generation down an old road of hate. And we think that resistance records here, particularly on the National Alliance, is trying to unify a lot of the white groups, a lot of the skinhead groups and the Nazi groups into more of a standard platform. I identify with these young people. I may express myself differently, but I identify with them. They are my people. Uh, this is a very bright man uh, who is intent on turning uh, America's children into racist revolutionaries. Ted Hart, News Channel 5. Incidentally, the Anti-Defamation League says there are about 50 active members of the National Alliance here in Cleveland, another 200 throughout the state of Ohio.